Action Conquest is an internal term, basically, that we use for this uh, collection of changes we're making to Conquest. Collectively, those changes uh, reduce the amount of downtime in the game. They reduce the amount of time where you're just pushing down the lane with nothing to do. They reduce the amount of time it takes to get from one forward station to another forward station. There have been quite a few changes to Action Conquest compared to, well, Conqu the new version of Conquest. Um, we've got some um, some adjustments to the sectors. Alpha and Beta have actually been reduced in size a little. Um, in fact, all of, the, all of the sectors have been reduced in size a little, um, but Alpha and Beta have been more noticeable because the position of the obje objectives has actually been kind of moved in and the jump points moved in around that. So you're now kind of jumping in and getting into combat within the first few seconds. Um, so you can you can kind of jump to a lane and make a make an impact right away, um, which makes it a little bit easier to attack, makes it a little bit easier to defend, um, and basically all of the, all of the changes have really been focused into kind of yeah both those things, making it easier to attack, easy and easier to defend, so that there's a little bit more back and forth in the game, and everybody's kind of pushing the action that little bit more. Um, so um, all of the sectors, we've ended up kind of tweaking the position of jump points, moved them closer to the action. Um, the big change, I think, that I've wanted to put into Conquest for the longest time, but we just couldn't support previously because of, um, because of the size of the map and the speed of the ships, was putting the jump home point right in the home base. Um, with the old setup, that made it so ridiculously easy to defend that games could go on forever potentially but with, but now with the the kind of the refined map it's that much easier to attack that we were able to kind of make that change and and make it work um, so that's huge because now you can now when you're in a lane you can jump home instantly upgrade at home heal up and then jump back to another lane and start making a difference again there's there's none of that kind of annoying jumping home jumping back to a lane trundling to the forward station getting your upgrade you, you can just do that nice and elegantly now so that's that's made a huge difference to the way the mode plays we've uh, we've reduced respawn times um, not massively but they're reduced a little so uh, people people are getting back into the action a little quicker um, sensors the uh, the hostile sensors on the forward stations those are no longer destructible um, but that's because it's that much easier to push a forward station um, that it was important to kind of keep vision there for the defenders so that they could make strategic decisions about whether they're going to defend um, and that's also kind of had the knock-on effect of reducing the amount of times where defenders are jumping in kind of piecemeal while the attackers are just sitting on their forward station killing them all off one by one um so so yeah they're, they're no longer destructible but it's 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 basically to aid the defenders more than anything um and uh yeah uh in terms of other changes um sector well alpha and beta asteroid setups has changed a little because uh, what with the, the new kind of positions of the, um, the objective stations. Um, and now all of those sectors are going to be 100% mirrored. Um, previously, I think three of the six were mirrored, but now they're all going to be mirrored, so prop properly kind of um, set up for competitive play. You will see mining ships in the new version of Conquest. Um, personally, I don't think they're part of Action Conquest. Action Conquest has... Uh, the things it's trying to achieve but we wanted to get the the mining ships in and so they are going in together with action conquest and their purpose is really to give you other things to do while you're you're in the lane and while you're capturing although it's unlikely these days it's impossible to, it's possible to be capturing a mine and be unchallenged and in that situation situation now you can spend your time taking down enemy uh, freighters enemy mining ships and and gain resources as a result. They're like a tertiary objective, they're not a primary objective, and theoretically they shouldn't change the way you approach the game when other players are there. But when there isn't, or when you uh, another person being engaged by another player, or you have the opportunity, you can take down these ships to gain advantage for your team. It's another layer on the game, it sits beneath the things that already exist, but it does help make capture more fun. They basically, they, they spawn out of the mines um, and then they kind of do a little route, fly around some of the local asteroids and then back to the mine. Um, and they've got 500 hit points and destroying them will give you 60 resources. So when an enemy controls a mine, you'll then be able to kind of take out the mining freighters around it if you can't capture it and get some of the resources. Um, so the actual percentage of resources 
in these things from the mines is about is 60 percent so the mines are still giving 40 percent of their resources to the people who own the mine um but you can potentially kind of if you've got somebody sitting in a lane just taking out all of the mining freighters you can get more more benefit out of their mines than they do but they are taking up an entire player's time so so it's 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 not really a strategically in it's sort of a viable thing to have someone just dedicated to taking out freighters and doing nothing else it's it's a it's a, a little kind of bit of um nuance to to the mining setup um which some ships are naturally a little bit better at like um the Pioneer, for example, once you've got, I think it's level two or three, um, you're then taking down mining, mining freighters in a single volley of your main attack. Um, so the the Pioneer can take them down relatively easily, whereas something like the Executioner, you're dedicating quite a... It can actually take, take them down in one hit, but you're dedicating quite a long cooldown to taking them down. So, so certain ships are definitely favoured for farming these things, so to speak. The hope is that they will largely... Um, benefit snipers in a way because snipers will be able to pick off the mining freighters at the enemy's end of the lane so if snipers are kind of covering a lane they've got no viable valid targets of, of, on the enemy team right now they could then be kind of picking off some of their resources so it kind of gives snipers who don't really capture very much a way of farming resources for their team um, outside of going for the stations with respect to how the changes to conquest affect other ships um, the biggest change is probably to the, the long range ships, the snipers especially the compression of the lanes will reduce the amount of time it takes other players to close on them it'll increase the danger that those ships live in but most good sniper players don't let anybody get near them anyway so essentially if they're on top of their game it won't drastically change what they do but it will mean they need to change more which means there's less influence they can have on a team that can't deal with snipers. For the rest of the ships, it's all still a matter of mobility and closing and capture and combat, and those things, uh, whilst the, the, the ranges have changed, it's only the long range ships that are drastically effective, affected. But what we find is, it doesn't matter what ship you're in, the experience is just more intense. Um, we expect that there will be balance changes post-release, as we see issues come up with certain ships but um, across the board we've just internally on the games we've had we've just generally had a good experience with anything we've played as to favorite parts of um, the changes um, I mean ultimately for me personally it's the feeling that we've performed this magic that's put more conquest in conquest that each moment is now more valuable that each decision you make has more effect on the game that's what I think I'm most impressed by um, but if you play a game internally on Action Conquest and then go live and play the game the thing you miss most is the change Will made where you jump home and you're inside the sphere and you can instantly upgrade and you're defending and you're healing just like that and that's, that's the thing you miss most got to agree with Jim on this one it's um, the one thing I miss when I'm playing the live version of Conquest right now is is the jump home point um, not being in the center of the home base it it does so much for improving the flow of the game it, 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 it feels like it's the way it should always have been um, and it's it, it it's 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 a huge relief to finally manage to balance the motor with with that feature in there because it's it makes it so much more friendly Ultimately, the reasons for, for making the changes are all about improving the game, improving the game experience. We, have, we have, do have issues we need to address with things like um, long-term retention with new players. And, and one of the big reasons for making the change is to help people understand what's so great about Conquest in, in a faster way than they would normally. And by reducing the downtime in lanes and reducing those moments where new players might feel the thing I'm doing at the moment has no impact. We make it easier to understand what's great about the game and what's great about the game mode. Um, it, it also, because of the way this has been approached and because of the changes Will has made, um, it, it means that people that were playing Conquest hopefully will enjoy Conquest more because they're getting more of what they like. Um, but it's to make the game more accessible, make the game retain better, it's to make the game play better. And, and those are the reasons we make the changes and and why we make any changes. 
all of the changes that we've been putting into conquests um, have really been focused on kind of improving or, or kind of maximizing the, uh, the the good moments in the game, the more fun moments, and uh, and minimizing the downtime and the kind of the, the 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 less exciting, the more boring sections in between. So so less respawn time, less traveling time, more fighting, more capturing, more more conquest, um, and hopefully more fun. The following footage is a full internal playtest of Conquest 2.0. The features you see are work in progress and may differ from the final version. Navigation, bring the ship down. Let's take care of this. You have accepted coordinates for jump. We have completed our jump. We have completed our blink.
to upgrade this crate. Marine team leader confirmed station capture. The enemy is hit a fleet ship.
have completed our jump. Zedjus, the Leviathan's jump beacon has been destroyed. All ships, get to the station and capture.